This tutorial is going to show you how to add another account to your Play Store if you have more than one account. Um, you have to have all of those accounts added if you have um, multiple apps that are purchased uh, under different accounts. If you add all of those accounts to one phone, for example if you just switch to a new phone and your apps carried over but one of them you tried to open it, it's a purchased app but it was saying um, something about the license wasn't valid. That's because the app, the account that you purchased the app under is not on your phone. Um, you don't want to do this through the Play Store. You want to do this through your, your device's settings. This is on a Samsung Galaxy S8. I think it'll be the same for many of the galaxies. So you want to go to settings, go down to accounts here. Whoop. Then you're going to add, go to add an account. Scroll down to Google. I saw it right there. Google. And it's going to ask for your password for your phone. Okay. Log in. And it's going to ask for your account information for Google. So your email and your password for the account on your Google Play. Awesome. Signed in. Accept whatever that is. I don't know. Um, and you'll be able to go to the Play Store and switch between different accounts. Um, so the thing, hold on, let me go back here. So this is Google Play home screen. Here you'll be able to switch between different accounts that you've set up in the, the same way that I just showed you. So in order to find, for example, I had that Ultimate Guitar Tabs, I had this purchased since 2014. The way I found that out was I went to Google Play on my laptop. I'll, just, I'll jump cut that in. So if you just look up Google Play on any any kind of whatever you have, um, it'll bring you to the Google Play homepage. There will be an account up here. If not, you need to sign in. Um, and in order to see what your um, previous purchases are, you want to go over here to go to account. And you want to open all my... It shows you all my account information, whatever. Um, and then you'll scroll down under order history. This is where I found out I bought Ultimate Guitar, guitar Tabs here under this account in 2014. So if you go through each one of your accounts to figure out where um, where you bought the app from, you can then sign into that account on your phone. Let's go back to the phone. So you'll Search the name of the app, whatever it was, and then you'll see this little thing over here that says purchased. I got henna on my hands, so I don't think I have a disease. Um, you'll be able to click it, and then you'll be able to install it. The only way you can do this, though, once again, is if you're signed into the account where the app was purchased. Um, hopefully this helps. It was a little bit tricky, but I think you guys can do it. Let me know if you have any questions.